Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our online class. So I am Teacher Chris, and today I am your teacher. So this morning, we are going to learn about reading. Okay, so kindly get your book for reading, the Let's Go book, your workbook, and your student book. Okay, let's start. So before we are going to go with our lesson for today, let us first review what we learned last time. So last time, we talked about or we sing the song, Hello and Goodbye song. So I am just going to read to you the song and you can follow. So the Hello and Goodbye song. So, Hi, Scott. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. Hi, Andy, how are you? Okay, thank you. Hi, Kate, how are you? I'm fine. Goodbye, Scott. See you later, alligator. Goodbye, Jenny. See you later, alligator. Goodbye, Andy. See you later, see you later, see you later, alligator. So last time we seen we sang this song. So you can sing this song now. Okay, so now let's go to this one. So we are going to review our vocabulary. So these pictures or these words, you can see this one on your student book. Okay, so we are going to read the words first. So calendar, clock, door. Paper clip, pencil sharpener, picture, window, book, again, calendar, clock, door, paper clip, pencil sharpener, picture, window, book. Okay, next. So on your student book, you have this one, okay? You can open it. So, first, a picture. Number two, a window. Number three, a pencil sharpener. Number four, a workbook. Five, a paper clip. Six, a clock. Seven, a door. Eight, a calendar. Okay, let's go to this one. So this morning, we are going to learn about how to use this and that in a sentence. So, how to use this and that in a sentence. So first is a distance. So one difference between these words lies in a distance. If an item is close to you, you use the word this. When something is not very close to you, you use that. So again, if the distance or if the item is very close to you, you can use this. And if, the, and if the item is very far or not very close to you, you will use the word that. Okay, so I will give you some example. So, this is an apple. So look at the apple. So the apple is very near. So that's why it used this. That is an apple. So look at the distance. So between pointing the finger and the apple. So this, if the item is very close or you, if you are holding an item and that if the item is far or not close to you. Okay, so what is this? It's a picture. So look at the girl. The girl is holding the picture. So that's why she used this. What's that? So she is pointing the window, which is very far from her. So it's a window. So again, use the word this if the picture or if or if the item is very close to you or if you are holding an item. And use that if the item or the object is far and you are pointing in a far distance from you. Okay? So this 
holding an item, that pointing an item. Okay, so is this a collider? Yes, it is. Okay, so yes, it is. If it is, if it is positive, and no, if it is not. Okay. So let us read this one. So what's this? What's that? So this is a chant. So listen, point, and chant. So follow the trippies. What's this? What's that? This is the spider. That is a cat. What's this? What's that? This is a baseball. This is a bat. So this is a spider. That's a cat. This is a baseball. That's a bat. Again, we're going to read all together. What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? This is a spider. That's a cat. What's this? What's that? This is a baseball. That's a bat. This is a spider. That's a cat. This is a baseball. That's a bat. Okay, very good. Now, on your workbook, you are going to answer this page. So, get your workbook now and answer this activity. Okay, so now what you are going to do is to write and match. So, look at the pictures very carefully. These pictures, you can see this one on your student book. Okay, so clock, calendar, picture, workbook, door, and window. So first, you are going to write the words in the space provided. So have you seen this line? Follow the number one example here, okay, clock. So then you are going to put, or you are going to write the word calendar in these lines. So after that one, you are going to find the picture and then match, okay? So on activity B, you are going to read and circle. What's this? So circle and write. It's a door. What's this? It's a workbook. So where is the workbook? You are going to circle the object that is mentioned in the question. Okay? So the same thing you are going to do on number two, number three, and number four. Okay, so that's all for today. So if you have any questions, you can ask me in the live. Okay, so that's all for today and goodbye.